Floresia alanum of the most is one of the most common families in the Neotropics, uh, range, ranging from uh, wet lowlands to the tree border at about 3,200 meters. The family is characterized by the presence of aromatic oils, and therefore, um, a good character uh, is the odor coming from a slash in the wood or broken twigs. All species have simple alternate leaves with an entire margins. Um, if hairs are present, present, the hairs are one-celled and therefore no stellate hairs or branched hairs. Um, flowers have stamens that open these flaps. can be either two or four on the stamen. And the fruits are generally seated in the cupule. The floral structure um, is as follows. There are two whorls of three tepals each, which in most species are of the same size and the same shape and appear as one whorl of six. In a few genera, however, the uh, two whorls of tepals can be of unequal size. In most cases, as in the majority of species of Passea, the outer three tepals are smaller than the inner three. And in very few cases, the inner three tepals are much smaller than the outer three. The stamens are opposite the tepals, are also arranged in worlds of three. And in most cases, there are four worlds of stamens or staminodes. The innermost world, world four, is in nearly all cases uh, sterile, staminodial, and it's, in many cases is lacking altogether. The most species, therefore, have nine fertile stamens arranged in one world of six, opposite the, the tepals, and one inner world of three. The inner world of three stamens has at their base two small globose glands, which in most cases are very difficult, are difficult to see, just like the staminodia of world four are difficult to see but occasionally they can enlarge and form a disc surrounding the stamens. In the genera where only three fertile stamens are present, those three stamens generally are the stamens of the third world that can be recognized by the presence of the glands at the base. Fruits in general are seated in a cup. Um, the cup can however be of very varying size. In most cases it's a well-shaped cup. Sometimes the cup can be very shallow, almost plate-like. Um, very rarely the fruit is completely enclosed in the receptacle and, and the remnants of the tepals can be seen on top of the fruit or in a few other cases there are no remnants of the floral parts whatsoever present under the fruit. Um,